Whether they're volunteer or full-time firefighters, they put their lives on the lines to keep us safe. But the modern burning buildings are running into full of synthetics, plastics, and exploding chemicals coat them in a potentially cancer-causing toxic suit. Tonight, the International Association of Firefighters says cancer is now their leading cause of death. But in spring, their fire department has invested thousands of dollars into life-saving tools, leading the way in fighting cancer. Chauncey Glover reports. Firefighters are the brave men and women who run towards the flames to keep us safe. But when the smoke clears, who protects them? Firefighters here in spring tell me they're not only fighting fires together, they're also fighting cancer together. Matt Corso has wanted to be a firefighter since he was a teenager. Can't imagine doing anything else. His dream came true, landing here at Fire Station 70 in spring. Matt also got a family, a wife and two kids. They think it's cool. They love climbing on the trucks and coming to see me at work, but they, uh, they don't see the bad side of it. The bad side that hit him. November 2016, the Spring Fire Department had ordered mandatory wellness checks and body scans like the one seen here for all of its employees. Started with the ultrasound. Within 20 minutes of being on the table, she thought she found a abdominal aortic aneurysm, which was a mass in my abdomen. But that mass actually turned out to be stage two testicular cancer. My wife thought she was going to be a widow. I thought she was too. After years of running into burning buildings and being exposed to dangerous toxins, Corso wondered if his job had jeopardized his health. The different colors of smoke, the, if you think about that, it's none of it's good. A report from the CDC and National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health tracked 30,000 firefighters across the country and found higher rates of cancer than the general population. The cancer risk went up when they made more fire runs or when they spent more time at a working fire. It burns hotter and it burns faster and it, and it burns darker. So it releases a lot more uh, carcinogens. <laughs> To decrease their exposure time to those toxins, spring firefighters now follow a procedure to decontaminate themselves right after every work and fire. After the fire's over, we will bag up our gear so it doesn't ride in the apparatus with us to off-gas all the uh, carcinogens that it still is releasing. When we get back to the station, we'll uh, wash the gear. Unlike at other departments, the gear is immediately washed. Then the firefighters go here. Get the sauna ready. It's a special decontamination sauna. It doesn't raise your core temperature. To help the firefighters sweat out all the bad stuff they just encountered. But you really do feel like you're sweating out the bad stuff, sweating out the toxins. Yes, you look down and down your legs and just black. It gets up to 104 in here, but they keep pedaling, knowing it's possibly saving their lives. They could invest their efforts in something else, but they invested in us. It's an investment Matt Corso and his family are especially thankful for. After the department's body scan spotted his cancer, Matt did several rounds of chemo and was out of work for months. But doctors just gave him the all clear. And now he's back at work with a greater appreciation for his firefighting family, his department that's working to put out cancer the way they put out fires. It's nothing for us to go help a stranger. And what spring is doing is helping family. They would have spent more money to bury me than they did to save me. Now, unfortunately, not all fire departments have these special decontamination tools. It is very costly. Spring Fire spends more than $40,000 on all of that equipment and an additional $7,200 per firefighter for additional gear. Now, I want to emphasize Spring residents support this through and through because they know when firefighters are healthy, they can keep the community safe. I'm Chauncey Glover, ABC 13.